Well, I just saw the new trailer for The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills of season 13, and looks like there's some fun mixed in with drama. And I noticed one former housewife is not present. Good. I've had enough of her since season 7, when she just went out of, out of pocket. Uh... I like that they have some fun with going to Barcelona, Spain. Uh, but the main thing about the season will be probably be about Kyle and Mauricio's split or not. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. And honestly, I don't care. But that's what the season's going to be mostly focused on through certain housewives. Because uh, I'll be honest, when I first heard this, I was like, what? How is that happening? Like, what's going on here? Like, with Kyle and a lesbian relationship? Huh? Because, like, even though it's been said that there's more that meets the eye, I really didn't expect, like, for Kyle and Mauricio to have problems that would come to the surface. Like, there's been rumors for a while now about Mauricio and his side pieces, but... Only they and the Lord know what's going on with that. So, But they managed to stay together anyway. So, like, I, from what I saw in the trailer, Sutton seems to be pretty invested in it, which is fine for her because, you know, after everything Kyle put her through and Kyle getting into other people's business, this is like her karma, basically. So, we'll see how that plays out and other things like Anne Marie, the new housewife, going off on Crystal or something, and I think it's because, because um, from what I heard some months ago, she made her opinions known regarding the transgender community, and Crystal and Sutton apparently did not take it well, and that's to be expected considering the environment they're in, because they're in Los Angeles, which is pretty gay friendly. I mean. I mean, I'm probably going to see more of this as the season plays out, but does Anne-Marie know what she signed up for and and where she is? Because, hello, I mean, you're she's free to have her own opinions and all, and her, and her beliefs, like everybody else, but you should already know what to expect being in the Los Angeles and Beverly Hills area. Just saying. But, you know. And Crystal, I want to know what Crystal's going off about. Maybe it's about Amory. Maybe it's something else. We don't know. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. There's some surprise cameos. This, well, not so surprised since we heard about it some, some months ago through certain Instagram profiles that reports on it. Like Camille, Cynthia, Bailey, formerly from Atlanta, Housewives Atlanta. Um... Rest night. And of course, the fabulous Denise Richards. Or should I say Denise effing Richards? And it's interesting that Erica is starting in on her for some reason. And that really annoys me because, like, did they not just, didn't they have their beef before? Like, what's going on? So I'm just curious to see what's going on with that. But, um, like, for Denise to call out. Denise Richards only fan seven dollar bundles like like way over the line like why are you bringing that up to the to the group and from what I've heard Erica's um, tickets for her Vegas residency is around that price if not less than that I mean by the way congratulations to Erica on her Vegas residency even though I don't really care for her either because She's been nasty ever since, well, she was, she had like, she, she was basically nasty since season 10 when it was at its peak, along with Lisa Rinna with Denise, so, and I also heard someone, and I also saw, heard someone report that Denise came in and she still basically did not like Erica because of what happened in season 10 when she, along with some others, went after her regarding you know, the alleged hookup with Brandy and because they thought that she was judging their parenting or them in general, which she was not. So 
I can understand why Denise would still carry some sort of hostility or some sort of grudge towards Erica. That's that's just my opinion. So, but like I said, let's see how everything that's been shown in the trailer will play out. Oh, and oh, I forgot. Um, Garcelle seems to have some sort of guilt regarding one of her sons. So, I wonder what's going on with that. But yeah, we'll see. I look forward to watching this, and I'm happy that it's coming back in November. Or is it a little earlier than that? I don't know. Anyways, I'm glad it's coming back. So. That's all I have to say.